So guys, it's this row for PVZ guide. I think I'm done uh, saying it's guide number 15 or something. It'll be just guides, you know. I've, I've, I'm moving on from the number, the numberfication. I don't even know if that's a word. All right, so uh, I've been doing. I, this is this is a build from me, from me. Uh, you know, usually I take my builds from Pro League, but this time around, uh, I've created something. Um, and it's like, it might, it might not work at your level sometimes, I guess, perhaps, if, uh, if people don't react properly to what they're scouting. But for me, at my level, and it, I mean, it's still a good build at your level, uh, you should try it regardless and then see how people react to it. But at my level, it's doing uh, wonders. Um, basically the build is Forge Expand, so you grab an Nexus and then Forge. Uh, unless uh, it's a spawning pool before 150 and then uh, off one gate you grab a third and then at the back of that you go uh, you go DT you want to hide it somewhere in your base the, here is my favorite spot because usually they'll poke in with an overlord from here and then you have a stalker uh, so to go down to the build order uh, you know it's the usual scout the spawning pool uh, put your probes on, uh, put your probe here to block the hatch at 15, rally the nexus at the natural uh, and then make a nexus on 16. Uh, if uh, you made a spawning pool around 151, you want to be uh, cutting probes at 16 and you want to make 16 forge. If any anything else uh, you just build the forge on 17. Now uh, we try to block. I don't like to lose more than 10-15 uh, HP on my probe while I'm blocking. So put down the forge. After that, uh, some I don't know if some people do 18 pylon. I prefer 17 pylon and then 18 gate. Um, it just it feels nicer because you're not you're you're not supply block. Um, so yeah, with the scouting probe, I leave it on patrol here to see if he's sending lanes my way. Sometimes it backfires if I'm not looking at the minimap and they attack it. Uh, and also, uh, you can't block, but I'd rather see the links coming and making sure I need to do a full wall off than blocking a third hatch. Uh, so then after you make the, the cannon, um, and then you'll be adding the two gases. Here you can chrono once and then add the gases. Sometimes I don't chrono. I think I should always chrono though, uh, because you can chrono too much before the core, but that that chrono right here you can afford it. So uh, you had four lanes. I'm just gonna run. Uh, this this probe is pretty much dead, I think. Um, so like I said, you can't chrono too much before the core, otherwise the core will be delayed. As soon as the core is uh, finished or the gate is finished, you wanna put down the core. Um, so I'm gonna put down the core. And then here, am I going to try to save the probe? Yeah, it's, you can, I can't save it. Sometimes you can save the probe by sending another probe out. And then uh, attacking the lings. And then pulling that probe back. Uh, just because your probe is doing mineral walk. Um, but here, that wasn't the case. Uh, and I didn't confirm a third. So uh, I kind of played risky here. To do this build, you need to confirm a third. There's some play styles uh, that Zerg will do. They will stay on two uh, archery. Um, they all stay on two hatchery uh, and then grab gases and uh, that's problematic because sometimes they'll have like overlord speed or uh, overseer just scouting you a lot earlier and uh, this build doesn't work uh, versus that. So here uh, the, the third gas was a little too early you want to build it after the stalker. The priority here once the core is built is chrono stalker uh, make the twilight chrono second stalker so it makes stalker make third gas, make the twilight, make second stalker and then depending on how greedy you can be you can start plus one weapon or you can start mothership core. Uh, mothership core is better for defense, uh, plus one weapon is, is more greedy, it helps for the late game. So now I'm building the twilight council. Uh, in the meantime I'm not chronoing probes too much uh, because I, I can't really afford it uh, because of the stalker and the twilight. So here you here you kind of poke to see if I was getting plus one weapon. Uh, here you want to kill as many links as you can. The goal the goal with the stalker basically is to just repel the links and clear out around your third so that they don't know 
that you're uh, that you're grabbing it. Um, but I think I'm doing a poor job of defending that. Uh, I think also I didn't chrono my second stalker, which is a mistake. So here I'm gonna put down the the dark shrine, and then after that I'm still chasing those things. After that, oh, and I grab plus one uh, before dark shrine, which is uh, is very greedy. I don't think that was uh, on purpose. Oh, and I made a mothership core as well. Whoops. So I kill that, so he doesn't see anything. Um, and then I grab a third. And then here, he, he sees that uh, I don't have uh, gas. So th technically, if I, if I didn't show my third, he's going to think like, oh, it's a getaway push. Uh, because I don't have a fourth gas, or I don't have gas. He doesn't know about this one. So that's the beauty of the build. It's like... You deny scouting so they don't know, and you don't have uh, all your gases so they don't expect DT. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to poke up a little bit uh, with your two stalkers and your mothership core once you've denied scouting. And here you want to cut a little bit of probes. Uh, your th like in this replay it doesn't do it, but you want to cut a little bit of probes around like 43, and then those two gates. Your first three gates should be like uh, warped as a gate uh, as a warp gate at the same time uh, as the dark shrine finishes. So like the dark shrine finishes, and those two gates should be warp gates. So you can send all three DTs at once. Uh, but that cuts probes. So the, I mean, if you want to be greedy, you can do this version. If you have sloppy macro, you can do this version. But uh, technically, uh, you want earlier. Uh, and then the the, the pylon on doesn't have to be too close. Uh, you can. I could have put it here, but usually they have an overlord pretty easily. Here's a good spot on this map. Uh, spots will defend. Uh, will be different on every map. Um, here, those lings, I can kill them easily as long as the queen is not around. Um, but he's gonna get speed and he's gonna go back. Um, so here, the way the way I'm doing things, as you can see, I'm potting up a little bit of money. Uh, because you need to be adding gates in the meantime, and uh, I was struggling to do that, I guess. Uh, but if your if your DTs are not lined up uh, perfectly with each other, um, you want to send obviously the first one to the main, so it doesn't do like your drones are under attack as quickly. Uh, so this one in the main, and then uh, I think I'm gonna corner those gates, or I'm still busy my coin oh, yeah. So I chrono those gates, so I'm gonna transfer, fill the gases, uh, and then do do more DTs. I'm a little disappointed in my macro, um, but yeah, the, fir the first DT is already in the main, and then now he, he wanted to be aggressive to uh, to hurt my third. He made a lot of links. Uh, while going dark shrine or er, while going spire, he made a lot of links. So, I mean, he has to make links in a way because he had a good drone count. But uh, he wants to be aggressive, but he has to go back because of the DT. So this build, not only do they think you're being aggressive, so like they, they shouldn't have as many drones. He had enough drones because he saw it. Uh, he saw my third, but you can do a better job than me and deny that. And then uh, behind that, you just want to harass with DTs. And then you want to add a lot of gates, and you want to continue plus two, and you want to... Uh, the Twilight upgrade you want to get depends on what they're doing. So he here I see a Spire, uh, so Blink would be better. Uh, but there's also the option on, of going Charge Lot Phoenix. Uh, so your army composition uh, doesn't have to be... Doesn't have to be one thing. Uh, if, if, I, if I see Roaches, I'll go for Blink and I'll add a Robo. If I see uh, Mutas, I can do Phoenix or I can do Blink with Archon. So I'm gonna force a cancel. Uh, I'm not. I didn't kill that many workers, as you can see, because he uh, he did a nice job of making sure that I wouldn't lose too many. Here I attacked the Hatchery, uh, hoping that uh, it, I would kill it, but uh, that was wishful thinking. Uh, once you've got uh, 66, you want to stop workers, and then at the back of that, I'm getting all my gates. Uh, or I'm going. I'm getting uh, stargates. Sorry. Um, um, behind that, you can get sentries if if 
you don't believe he's gonna go mute us. But uh, I was pretty sure he was gonna go mute us. And uh, technically, I don't need to warp in that much. Uh, just because, you know, Photon Overcharge and uh, two Archons and those lanes should die uh, pretty easily. Um, yeah. So I'm a little gas starved right now to get. Uh... Yeah, as long as I have a uh, Zealot surrounding my Archon, I don't need much. My charge was a little late. I should have cut uh, one of the DTs I, I took. Um, this DT will be for... Because, like, uh, I can... You can't really... You can play the macro game and just, like, not do a push. But you have such a golden opportunity to kill him with a push that it's kind of silly to not try or to not go for it. So this DT is a setup... Uh, of course I could have just made a second Archon, but this DT is just to attack him while I'm pushing at the front. So if he has, if like he trans uh, transferred this, uh, because I'm going to kill it, to here, then my DT during the battle will go here and attack. So that's uh, that's something good you can do, just set up a, a multi-prong, uh, as long as, because it's like... Uh, 100% he's gonna have that third. Like, uh, Zerg's always grab a fourth. I mean, a fourth. Uh, Zerg's already always grab a fourth, but sometimes they don't. And then when they don't, it's mostly a Roach Hydra Viper uh, off three base. Um, so I need a bunch of Phoenixes. Uh, the Phoenix count that you want, uh, eight, nine, nine or 12, if you have like uh, three Stargates, is usually a pretty good number. Uh, so the chrono, I've, I've been spending my chrono on the stargates, on the plus two, and on the charge. Um, okay, we're gonna slow down a little bit. So I cut the, I cut the mutas. Uh, always bring a, a probe for proxy pana. I've been uh, doing a camera location just like this with the space bar. It's really uh, helpful for warping in. Um, and yeah, I mean, at this point, he's pretty boned. Even though I only killed 12 workers, uh, the Archon could survive, and then uh, Time Warp makes the links a little slower. I mean, at that point, I'm not going to recall. Um, and yeah, the game's over. So we'll be going, uh, we'll be going into game two. Uh, but this build, this build, I, I haven't played too many macro games out of it. Uh, because you can, you you set them back with the DT that the three base push is deadly but the, there's obviously situations where if they're uh, playing let's say they're playing like Roach Hydra then I can't kill them uh, because I have to go into like Immortal I have to switch Tick Tree but if they if they go like Ling let's say like Ling into Ive and they do like Ling upgraded into Ultra or whoops let's get into the second replay or um, or if they go for for mutas, like if they go for mutas, I don't, I barely have to switch tech tree. Like I went for stargates here, but I could have gone, just like in this game, I could have gone for blink and archons. Uh, so this is a second build. Hopefully my macro is a little bit better. Uh, but of course, like uh, I think, I think with this build, not having perfect macro is okay. Because an Archon and a few Zealots, no matter the amount of links, you will survive. So it's really a priority to uh, to micro the DTs. And uh, I didn't really mention how to micro the DTs. So uh, in this uh, in this this replay, uh, we'll be sure to uh, I'll be sure to focus on that. But yeah, I just came up with this build. I like to grab a quick third. Of course, grabbing a quick third sometimes it can be funky because. Uh, they can like cut drones on three base and just like make a bunch of links and all in you blindly and then there's nothing uh, that you can do to like to not die or you, there's not something you you can say like oh I could have played better and win because no like if they cut drones are around like 40 44 off three base and they just go like uh, mass link well technically you just have to cancel and uh, yeah, I mean it's not it's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, but with this DT build, at least 
because like they will contain you if you do a quick three base without DT. But at least with the DTs, you have options to uh, you have uh, you have options for payback. Um, so here, as here, here in Planet S, uh, Zergs will take a different third. You never know which one. So I'm gonna make sure that I scout that at the back in my base. Uh, it's the usual. Uh, usual the build order will be in the description below by the way um, so we're making uh, we're cloning more uh, workers so we're gonna make warp gate chrono the stalker and then third gas and then twilight and then second stalker uh, you kind of have to be careful uh, on some maps it was I think the bell share had someone scout really early with his first overlord and uh, even my first stalker kind of stopped his first overlord. So sometimes if they're really suicidal with uh, and here again, like he sees like heavy signs of a third. Um, so he's just going to drone up like a maniac and uh, not even bother to get a roach horn. It's better for you if they get a roach horn. Uh, but I think this guy and the previous guy, they were both GM. The previous guy uh, was a pro gamer, Mini Razer from Fnatic, but this guy is a uh, GM. So uh, they, they know to confirm the third with their links and be very persistent about it. Um, I think, no, I'm not gonna line up my gates, sadly. Um, so always have the proxy part on. Yeah, I made a sentry. I'm not sure exa exactly why. Uh, maybe I just want it to be a little bit more safe. Um, so the micro with the DT, we're gonna focus on that. So what I do is I uh, actually will will watch it from my vision. All right, let's go this row. You can do this. So what I do is I warp them. And then I click right here, and then I'll, if I only have two, I'll click on this one, and then I'll send the other one. If I have three, what I'll do is I'll click all them, remove one, click here, and then click on the last one, and click here. You really want to click on your minimap, and then uh, the DTs are sent. On the back of that, grab the gases, uh, and this plan on really, like, the... Every map is different. Uh, I'll be making a guide. My next guide, I know I, if you've been watching my stream, I, I, I bragged about making that guide. Uh, right claim about making that guide a thousand times. But my next guide will be about SimCities at the third and at the natural and PVZ. So uh, every map is different. And uh, every player has like uh, different, slightly different um, SimCities. But as long as your Panon is covered, that's a that's a good sim city uh, okay so now let's see how I do my DTs so my DTs are oh I backed up the replay by mistake my apologies I'm trying to deny scouting here but um, okay so you get in the middle line and with the DT you want to right click shift right click shift right click shift right click you just want to do like a few because if you just send a DT in the middle line and the queen is too close to your DT uh, the DT is going to start attacking the Queen, and, you know, a Queen takes, like, uh, it takes about, like, four hits, five hits to kill a Queen, so that's definitely a lot of, uh, it's a waste of time, basically. So I get in, right-click a few, and then I, I go macro just a little bit, and then, you see here I was attacking a Queen, that's really bad, so I right-click a few, here I go make sure that I'm right-clicking a few, and then I'm warping back home to make sure I'm macro properly. Um, I didn't. I don't think I like realized it was gonna be. Uh, it was gonna be uh, mutus because I'm going for a uh, charge. I'd suggest going for uh, for blink in a situation like that. So here, as you can see, uh, we've killed 29 workers. They went extremely well. He's at 54 workers right now. He's got this, this fire, but he can't even build uh, Mutas because he just uh, simply doesn't have the larva uh, or the money. Well, you, you see, he has a lot of gas, but no money or, yeah, no minerals. 
So uh, that's one of the reasons this this guide is good. It's like if they if they they don't have perfect inject, they're not gonna have a lot of larvas because they're gonna be in panic mode. Uh, there's a lot of games with this build where they simply GG right away uh, because they they add nothing. Um, so here four archons plus charge. Didn't expect mutas. I should have maybe scouted with the with that sentry. Um, made a few stalkers back home, but uh, it was uh, it was not. And then what he did is he transferred his main to his third, and then his third to his fourth. So that was really smart by him. I'm attacking here, and I'm not hurting any economy. Uh, so it, it was really it was really dangerous. Uh, and he's on he's gonna be on 25 meters. I tried to recall, but it didn't go too well. Uh, and then I have to warp him from uh, my third. And then what I did is when I left, uh, because the Zots, like the Zots will be useful to kill the Lings at some point, but uh, what I did is I sent my Zots somewhere to kill uh, their base. Like let's say, and I could have done the same if when I'm fighting here, I can just send a few Zots here. Like when you're doing a push like this, multi prong with just Zalot somewhere else or one DT is so good. But I didn't do it. But then uh, this guy, uh, he's like on pure lanes at this point, and uh, I don't think his lanes didn't even have carapace. So uh, yeah, he, he he was boned. So that's why he left. Um, and I kill a little bit more workers here so at 44. So that's the guide, guys. Uh, my macro wasn't perfect, uh, making me a little bit sad about my performance uh, for this guide. But I, I, I think it's a pretty good guide. It's, uh, it's creation of mine, so uh, take it for what it is. Uh, next guide will be SimCities guide after that. Uh, I really need to update my PvT and PvP guide, but I also really want to update my... Uh, uh, Odd keys guide, uh, odd keys and mechanics. So uh, what I'll what I'll do is I'll probably do SimCities next, and then PVT, and then I'll do the odd keys, and then I'll do PVP. So guys, thank you a lot for watching the guides. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/destrofighting, on Facebook to like me, and on Twitch. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and if I ever uh, share this uh, video. Uh, on reddit or something make sure to check it out as well over there so guys thank you a lot for watching i'll see you guys next time peace